About 11 million cars cross the Francis Scott Key Bridge in a year. In the Bay Area, that's roughly as busy as the Dumbarton Bridge or the Richmond San Rafael Bridge. Would our bridges be able to withstand the impact of a cargo ship? ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Vaughn joins us live with more on that tonight. Suzanne. Um, uh, engineering experts, traffic experts, they tell me that our bridges in the Bay Area are built to withstand major earthquakes and vessel collisions to a certain extent. What happened in Baltimore this morning with a cargo ship slamming directly into a bridge makes a lot of people wonder just how much our bridges in the Bay Area can handle. The Bay, Bay Bridge, uh, like the um, Golden Gate Bridge, uh, these are uh, major bridges that have cargo ships go under them. Farzad Shabadoglu is a Cal State East Bay professor of civil engineering and construction management. You know, the bridges are designed for a certain uh, factor of safety. So they can take uh, earthquakes, they can take uh, even typhoons, but they're not designed to be rammed into by a 940-foot ship. Experts say barrier bridges are robust because they're built to withstand earthquakes. The Golden Gate Bridge has extra protection. The Golden Gate Bridge has the most robust ship collision protection of any bridge on the West Coast. The North and South Towers of the Golden Gate Bridge are built with extra reinforcement. The South Tower is protected by a concrete fender ring. The tower itself is anchored to bedrock below the water. And this concrete fender ring protects the entire South Tower pier. It is 27 feet thick at the bottom and extends 40 feet down. If there's a critical incident or a catastrophe involving one of the Bay Area bridges, like during the Loma Prieta earthquake, Caltrans says they can quickly clear the traffic to keep people safe. In experience, we've closed it as fast as 11 minutes, uh, but it, all, it really all depends on what the circumstances are. It means shutting off access to the bridges and the CHP closing down freeways that lead to the bridges. Caltrans says it begins with the CHP. When they're alerted, then they are the ones that are in charge of closing off the freeways. And they work directly hand in hand with Caltrans and our traffic operations department to determine how we move traffic around. And then, of course, Caltrans for bridges will close the toll plazas so that you can't move in that direction. And when it comes to bridge safety, Caltrans and MTC are working on securing a $167 million federal grant to improve and upgrade fenders on Bay Area bridges. We're live in San Francisco. Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News. All right, Suzanne, thank you so much.